We don't fully understand what might happen, the dangers involved, because no Congress has ever actually threatened default. But we know it would have a profound destabilizing effect on the entire economy, on the world economy. As you just heard earlier, investors are spooked by what's going on in the nation's capital, and that can't be good news for the broader economy. Joining us to discuss is Sudeep Reddy in Washington. Good morning, Sudeep. Good morning, Michael. Sudeep, the previous government shutdowns, those of the mid-90s, proved to be something of a non-event for markets and the economy generally. Is there reason to believe this one might be different? This one is a little bit different because you have the potential government shutdown bleeding into a fight over the, raising the federal borrowing limit, the debt ceiling, in mid-October. And so putting those two together can create some bigger effects, both in terms of confidence among investors and uh, businesses and consumers, and also in the actual effects, because if you have people pulling back due to heightened uncertainty, that could cloud the outlook for months ahead. And what are we seeing right now in terms of indications and indicators in this regard? Well, we've already seen consumer confidence come down over the last few weeks. We've seen business confidence come down with uh, one survey of big businesses specifically citing the uh, budget battles as a reason why they weren't hiring and weren't investing as much as they would be otherwise. And uh, beyond that, you've seen some gauges of uncertainty that are based on business surveys and uh, market measures like uh, credit default swaps uh, really pop up higher due to uh, fiscal uncertainty. So all of those together are just the beginning. We are already in a fairly choppy economic environment, both in terms of business investment and, of course, in terms of jobs. So this is obviously not going to be a good thing for the economy. Right. And as you just said to us earlier, the, the, the debt ceiling debate in many respects is the real elephant in the room here. What sort of a time frame do we have for that? When is it likely to become an issue? It really depends on whether the government goes into a partial shutdown uh, on Tuesday. If we do see a shutdown, then the, the clock kind of starts to see how much lawmakers are going to be fighting, uh, how long they're going to be fighting. If, if that fight bleeds into the debt ceiling debate, you're going to see some really serious di dislocations in markets. So you probably have about a week of more uh, playing around in Washington before you have some, some serious problems in terms of of the market gauges that could affect the economy. But of course, if you get closer and closer to that mid-October date, then you're going to start to see some things fall apart, even if there's an 11th hour deal and we don't see a, a default on the federal debt. Uh, but getting to that point can be fairly painful, and we have to figure out a, a way to navigate through that without getting that point. There you go. You heard it, folks. You've got a week after that. Buckle up. Could get pretty rocky. Sudeep, thank you very much for your time.